Hey guys, what's up with the Bad Brick Reviewers? This is our first time doing a video all by ourselves. So if you see Curtin Sam reaching over there towards this side, just please note that we're recording for each other and she has to press the record button when we're doing the video ourselves. Guys, the purpose of our channel is to share our love, reading and writing with everyone. We'd like to thank the people who watched our videos, liked our videos, subscribed to our channel and even shared our videos. Guys, if you didn't know, when people share their videos, it's like a really cool and red thing because like that means that like they think that other people can like like it as well. So like, yeah. Thank you, Avon. Well, Kirsten, the theme for this week is... And we'll be going first reviewing Jogger. And it's Jogger Goes to the Rodeo. And I'll be going next reviewing Timothy Mean and the Time Machine. Please bear in mind, guys, that. Oh, by uh, Willow Frob. Frod. Oh, yeah, and mine's by Mary Griffith Chapolsky. Chilapsky. I, I keep. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, please bear in mind, guys, that it's, the theme for this week is called Kindle and Adventure because we're on Kindles and they're kind of adventure books, I guess. And I won't be doing mine on phone. Indeed, I'll be doing it on laptop. I just wanted to like show you guys on phone. For a okay, change. guys. So now we're going to let Aiden go over with her review. Guys, I present you the Kindle device 1.0. I will be showcasing my book on here. But before we start, I'm going to talk a bit about it. Guys, the author of this book is Mary Griffith Chalapsky. And the illustrator is Shannon Johnson. And you can just see that at the bottom here. If you look in the grass, there's some black writing and that's the illustrator. This, the age rating for this book, as you can tell, it's not, it's probably aimed for younger children. So I think like five-year-olds accompanied with their parents could read this and six-year-olds, yeah. So the genre of this book is kind of, hmm, that's it. I'm going to say fan, kind of fantasy. It's definitely not fantasy like princess and fairies but it's definitely fiction because you've got a talking pig and skunk so it's not going to be in real life um also adventure because like they have some fun there so now i'm going to do my taster and here it is so john the thought of the rodeo the cowboy in hats and horses they ride he rode his bike to joey's who was playing ball outside Joey, let's go. We've got tickets to buy. Joey smiled wide and gave a big sigh. Away they rode on their bikes to the show. They just had to know where they needed to go. They each had saved money. They earned from odd jobs by working all summer, loading hay and corn cobs. The show cost a dollar. They were happy to pay. Like Rodeo doesn't come every day. From their seats, on the third row, it was easy to see the cowboys riding horses and the cowboy monkey. Even Google tells you two guys. Come on. Okay, so it's meant to the cowboy monkey. I'm not going to show you any more. But if you can see the cowboy monkey, like this video and comment down below a monkey emoji. I know there's Lots of different monkey emojis, so editor, can you just put a monkey, any monkey emoji on the screen somewhere so they know what's a comment down below. Thank you guys, and that's the end of my review. Thank you so much for listening, and let's go get Kirsten. I said let's go get Kirsten like she was recording, so I didn't really have to go get her, did I? Hi, you know me, I'm the wonderful Kirsten. Just get on with it. Okay, so I'll be reviewing Timothy Mean and the Time Machine by William Ford, or William A.E. Ford, if you want extra detail. The book was illustrated by Marcello Cimaretti. I think that's how you pronounce it. So guys, the genre of this book is adventure and fantasy because, let's be honest, no one in 2019 is going to make a time travel machine take us all the way into the future and all the way into the past so it's definitely going to be a fantasy but it's also adventure because he goes through all these sort of weird eras of history and he even goes into the future and sees what it will be like possibly um yeah the age rating for this book is definitely about 
six plus. I was going to say seven plus, but you know, six pluses should be able to read this book. It's a very, very nice and simple read. And I sort of like that because it's just easy to read and you don't have to really like get out your dictionary and be like, oh, what does that word mean? It's just, you know, an easy read. Anyway, guys, I'm going to be reading you the taster now. It's kind of a wrap, so please compliment my writing skills in the comments. Timothy Mean was feeling bored. He'd had enough of his Star Wars sword. Down in the basement, he was, he has a plan and sets off to work as fast as he can. What did he make, you may wonder and ask. Something amazing, so cool and fast. From cardboard boxes and sticky glue, it smoked and gargled and bubbled too. A big red goat button that he could press to travel through time, it was the best. Timothy Mean built a time machine, an amazing thing that had to be seen. And you guys, if you want to find out the wonderful, superlative, 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 that means marvellous. But if you want to find out these awesome adventures Timothy went on, make sure you buy this book on Kindle. It's an amazing book. As we come to the end of our road, thank you for watching. We have you enjoyed the box. Yeah, it was really fun. It was a really short one. He apologise. Short and sweet. Anyways, guys. Bye. Bye. Oh wait, wait, I forgot, I forgot. What is it? We have one more thing to say. What? Let's say it on the voices. Okay. <laughs> okay, so guys, our church is having a, having a Got Talent show. Um, we're not saying that you should enter, but we are um, thinking of doing a comedy act, but we can't really be comedians if we don't have any jokes. <laughs> so guys, if you have any jokes, comment down below, please. We need you. We need your help. <laughs> okay guys I'm sorry sorry okay we're gonna do this in like a week it's so funny <laughs> okay well wait guys do it now I wanna so see funny. you doing it do it do Post it post an eye emoji and then a, like, what a if we made this like a trend <laughs> hashtag trend squad anyways guys okay guys anyways please give us comment down some jokes in the we'll uh, mold we'll mold your jokes into a story line. yeah because we're kind of making a storyline you kind of got jokes like orange you glad it's a half time and that's when they're like you must have heard what's on the television mom you know i don't catch up on those sort of things like <laughs> mustard and ketchup it's kind of a rubbish one but guys please any comedians out there any comedians out there please comment we down want preacher jokes. lawson Yes, he's a comedian, if you guys don't know. But he's really good, funny comedian. Please comment down some jokes. because America's we're... got talent. We're kind of out of jokes, guys. So please help. Bye, squad. Bye, guys. Thank See you, you for watching. Bye.